Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back after the break in conversation with East London Mosque and London Muslim Centre. And we have been discussing about the project that have been here in, in, my, in with Channel S and the project that have been there in the last year and the future plan, inshallah, we'll be discussing in this segment and the segment next. Inshallah, we know East London Mosque requires no introduction. It's a mosque that's very familiar and we have been told by the guests that it's one of the busiest mosques. It's based in East End, but Alhamdulillah, it's one of the biggest mosques, and we should all be proud about it with the activities that we have heard in our first segment that the mosque is engaged with. Inshallah, we'll discuss in this segment about what the plans are, what the current position of the masjid is, and in our next segment, we'll touch upon the future plans. Now, before that, I'll introduce you our new guest who have joined with us in this segment, a very well-known face, a very well-known face within the community. He is Delwar Khan, who is the Director of Finance and Engagement. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullah. segment Now, before I move on to all my other guests, you're the Director of Finance and Engagement. Now, what does your role involve with East London Mosque and London Muslim Center? Among, I mean, as sustainability, I mean, I mean, but your role is to give us a role position to key among what are you involved actually with in the mosque okay bismillah alhamdulillah salatu wa salam wa rasulillah yeah um, my uh, i actually look after four areas one is uh, our finance finance is making sure everything is in order in accordance with the charity commission rules and regulations mm -hmm. we are make, make sure that we are maintaining all the records um, financial records properly uh, making sure that all the income that is due uh, are coming in on time. Uh, we, we, you know, we have a lot of uh, income uh, from our properties and other uh, in initiatives. Second aspect is uh, to, um, uh, is, is to um, do fundraising uh, for the masjid. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the third aspect is community engagement, uh, m making sure that we uh, maintain uh, you know, communication with our community stakeholders. And the fourth aspect of my work is uh, interfaith, uh, uh, you know, making sure that we are in relationship with our other faiths. They know about our masjid and we are in uh, you know, promoting community cohesion. Now, thank you very much for clarifying the last point. Our um, Jani Islam Mosque is quite actively engaged with uh, Mosque Open Day. Now, E. Jinishta, living in a Western society, um, in across the Europe and we know unfortunately at the moment uh, Islam and Muslim is not perceived in a very normal position or way that we would want to now how important it is for us as Muslim living in the Western society to engage with people of other faith or even no faith now, it is very really important um Probably you know and others know that at the moment the perception about Muslims is very negative. Uh, according to a recent survey, 75% uh, of the indigenous people of this country, or non-Muslim people if you like, mm -hmm. they have a negative perception about Islam and Muslims. They think that Islam and Muslims are not compatible with British way of life. No. So the, in order to deal with this, because this is the first stage of you can say um, hatred and you know what is the extreme version of that yeah Islamophobia another extreme version of that is once people move to the extreme version is genocide extermination you know what happened to the Jewish community right so uh, this is the first very first stage so we have to deal with it we have to make sure that people don't and this is mainly through misunderstanding misinformation so our role is to inform people what really what Islam really is what Muslims what we really are you know th there's a lot of mi misinformation that is Muslims are not loyal to this country you know we have to go out there and talk to our neighbors talk to our colleagues and tell we are equal British citizens we care for this country we, we this is our country we are that's why we're building big mosques not to go away from here this is our country we are mm -hmm. this is I, I said there are two signs of settlement one is building purposeful mosque another is burying our dead if, if you think about it if you go back uh, you know we used to uh, you know um, send our disease to back home, back yeah. home mm -hmm. yeah country of origin mm -hmm. nobody's doing that so that means we have accepted this country as our home and and we're building big mosques now <laughs> thank you very much for clarifying that but the reason why because we've heard about the other side of it but then the critics would say we're also partly responsible so as a masjid what are we doing to make sure that as we as citizen we are responsible in our day-to-day -day life and our dealings with our non-muslim fellow brothers and sisters 
Yeah, it's very important. I and mean, through our khutbah and through many other programs, all, we always um, emphasize that we need to engage positively with our neighbors, uh, uh, w with our colleagues. And this is why a lot of people, alhamdulillah, because of our positive engagement with our colleagues and neighbors, the many people are also accepting Islam as well. If you come to Islam, the masjid, you'll find on average. That is why the open day. The yeah, that's right. And that is that's why we do the open days. Uh, open day is just once a year, which is the, sorry, um, the visit by mosque, which is an MCB led initiative is just once a year but we actually have open days four or five times a year okay. plus we have actually our mosque is open every day I see. <laughs> we have we have groups uh, non-muslim groups coming to our mosque every single day so it's just if one, if our non view non-muslim viewers are watching the program now if they want to visit the mosque and find out about the uh, project that mosque is involved they're welcome at any point of in course time? yeah all they have to do is if they want to come in a group is good to give us a call okay. and say I would like to visit so we can plan a proper visit. So we have planned visits uh, almost every day. We have schools, colleges, universities, um, faith groups, community we groups. Have come. have a mechanism to um, uh, accept groups of people who are coming from schools okay. or colleges or universities or even church groups and so on. So we have uh, staff who are able to give them a proper tour and proper explanation and yeah. so on. So like any other organization, yeah. you need an appointment-based service just to make yeah. sure that the uh, delivery is but there. Having said that, we're also accessible. So if somebody wants to just drop in, they can also do do, do that. And we're, I think uh, one, of, one, of, one of the uh, things uh, that uh, we benefit a great deal from is, uh, is the fact that you know, a, lot of, a lot of non muslim people feel that the mosque is not accessible to them. They, they're yeah. not, they can't come mm. in. And we get surprised by you know, hundreds of people who come to the open days that we have on a regular basis. Uh, they, you know, they, they, they say that they've never been to a mosque, but they didn't realize they could come into a mosque. But uh, when they do come in, and we have the facility to actually give them a proper tour, explain things. We even have a gallery from where they can actually uh, observe the prayers, yeah. and they get fascinated uh, uh, by that. But uh, the addition which I mentioned that uh, the Lorraine mentions is part of his role as well is the engagement that we have, not only just bringing people to the masjid, mm -hmm. but also working with the non-Muslim community. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when, when very many common issues in, 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 in the community. So yeah. you will realize that from the far right, we've had a lot of, um, mm -hmm. you know, threats and people there from, you know, Britain First and, and uh, EDL and so on have uh, actually come in front of the mosque and, and so on and so forth. Only last month in, in April, there was a, you know, Punish a Muslim Day uh, threat. Yes, we have seen been and we, So what we have done is we've worked with our non-Muslim partners to come together and say we are not going to tolerate this in our community. So that community feel of Muslims, non-Muslims working together for safe community and uh, for, for, for a tolerant society mm -hmm. is very, very important. Thank you very much. I've got more questions to ask, but I'll come back to you mm -hmm. because at this point in time, I need to ask Sheikh a very important question. Ikanuni Amrajan Shuniti, we have heard uh, about Islamophobia, about hatred from certain group and organization. Now, as Muslim, now, our youth, our young generation, perhaps, they might not be able to channel the anger accordingly. Some sort of, uh, you know, anger or frustration within say, why are we targeted? Now, what does Islam say as Muslim living in a Western society? It is important for us as Muslim. How shall we conduct ourselves in public dimension? Uh, we deal with all these kind of... <laughs> issues and, and situations from the pulpit, from the member. Amra Zakhani Erikum Ghatanagulu Ghati, Amra Zakhani Alat Hoyzai, Erikum Takti Paramadir Mudi, hot headed young people. Tadrika Messer Dithavi, Amra Amadir Juma Khud Batik Shurukore, Bolizi, Novi Karim Salarson, keep happy with like a face correction. Sovor Shati, positive Thaka, Ram Banakuri is a formal engagement is not enough. Amadir regular engagement as a positive message through engagement. Then our business people, the any customer, our shop, a Muslim shop, he should be impressed by Muslim seller, Muslim conduct and behavior, conduct and behavior, right, and good, good moral kind of treatment. If even I am a, a customer, uh, I will be leaving some kind of impression that I am a good person. I carry Islam. So I'm not the taxi driver. Who I'm not the man. If you know, I am the I am the colleague. That I am the people who are doing the work. A positive message, a positive engagement, I'm the naturally, regularly hard work. Here, my dear, because the cost only borrow, but then only formal one. Okay, okay, okay. This message we need to pass. 
এটা আমরা চেষ্টা করি এবং আলহামদুলিল্লাহ আমাদের আপনি ওই যখন মাঝে মাঝে ইস্যুগুলো আসে এরকম কিছু পাওয়া যায় হট হেডের আমাদের লোকের আগে থেকে রেডি থাকে আমাদের ইয়াংয়ের জেনারেশন টু হ্যান্ডেল দেম আই মিন নাথিং রং উইথ বিং হট হেডেড ইফ ইফ ইটস ডাইরেক্টেড টু দ্য রাইট ডাইরেকশন ইফ ইটস পয়েন্টেড অ্যাট টুয়ার্ড দ্য রাইট ডাইরেকশন পারহ্যাপস লট অফ পিপল মাইট নট বি দ্যাট সর্ট অফ ব্লাড কুড বি গুড ইন পারহ্যাপস ইন স্পোর্টস পারহ্যাপস ইন আদার এনগেজমেন্টস উই জাস্ট পারহ্যাপস নিড টু এনগেজ এন্ড মেক শোর দ্যাট দে আর ইউজিং ইট ইন দ্য রাইট কনটেক্স একটা ইম্পর্টেন্ট পয়েন্ট যেটা জেলাবে টাচ করছে ইজ দ্যাট দিস ignorance from people mm. uh, you will find that you know the resentment against the muslim community or misperception mm. against the muslim community happens mostly from people who don't have much interaction with muslims correct where they know their neighbors are muslims their colleagues are muslims they know about them what they are like and so on and so forth you have a lot less of this mis- mis- misunderstanding and resentment i mean you don't know mm. if you see if you go outside london mm. even i remember when i go outside london in remote area like villages english villages and if i happen to go to a supermarket mm. uh, people see me as if i'm an, i mean it's something they've never seen yeah. before whereas in london when we walk inside mm. a supermarket or a department store that's not of any um, uh, sort of surprise mm. so i think it's right that as uh, sheikh has mentioned you've mentioned that we need to make sure that the positive engagement mm. and the positive message needs to be heard now you can a positive message dawa lagya man ekti documented jete hobe but just to make sure i'll find out a little bit before because we are, while we are discussing this topic onek manush amrai hoyto islam er puro gyan nai fole ki hocche we are active on social media mm. and we are in our ignorance perhaps spreading the wrong message of islam and i'm other friend list in our social media i'm sure you know how active is social media onik manush kintu then but they might not know me they might be a uh, friend through social media now as a muslim ekhane you know, amader responsibility koto tok je ekti khobor jokhon ashe eta ke verify na kore jachai na kore we then share it with hundreds of people or followers mm-hmm. what importance does it hold the very important message this one in the quran allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said ইদা যা আকম ফাসকুম বিনাবা ইন ফাতাবাইয়ানু যত মধ্যে কাছে যখন কোনো ইনফরমেশন আসে কোনো ফাসিক লোকদের কাছ থেকে রং ইনফরমেশন দিয়ে দিল চট করে তোমরা এটাকে স্প্রেড করার আগে অ্যাকশন নেওয়ার আগে তোমরা এটাকে ইনভেস্টিগেট করো এটার এটা অথেন্টিক মেসেজ কি না মেসেজটা কি হয়েছে তারপরে স্প্রেড করা কিন্তু এখন যে সোশ্যাল মিডিয়ার যুগে যেটা বলছেন জাস্ট মানে এটা ভাইরাল হয়ে যাচ্ছে দেখা যাল টোটালি মানে একটা বেজলেস ইনফরমেশন চলে যাচ্ছে আমি জাস্ট টু গিভ এন আইডিয়া হ্যাঁ আমি যখন আপনি বলেছেন যে পানিশা মুসলিম ডে অনেক আমি ভিডিও দেখেছি যেটা মুসলমান কি মারেনি অনেক জনকে হয়তো ফর সাম কনফ্লিক্ট সামওয়্যার এলস বাট পিপল আর শেয়ারিং ইট অ্যাজ ইফ ইট হ্যাপেন টু আ মুসলিম সো দিস থিংস একটা কোন সময় ঘটনা ঘটেছে 3 বছর আগে 10 বছর আগে দ্যাটস करेक्ट দ্যাটস হোয়াট আই এম ট্রাই টু কাভার জাস্ট সার্কুলেট ইট দিস লাইক থ্যাঙ্ক ইউ ভেরি মাচ মাই ডিয়ার ভিউয়ার্স আ ভেরি ইম্পর্ট্যান্ট মেসেজ ইউ হ্যাভ হার্ড হিয়ার নাও অ্যাজ আ ইয়াং পারসন অ্যাজ দোজ হু আর পার্ট অফ দ্য ইয়াঙ্গার জেনারেশন দোজ আর ভেরি অ্যাকটিভলি ইনভলভড ইন সোশ্যাল মিডিয়া উই নিড টু টেক আ নোট ফ্রম দিস কনভারসেশন উই অল আলহামদুলিল্লাহ ভেরি ওয়েল অ্যাকাস্টমড টু আওয়ার সোশ্যাল মিডিয়া বাট we need to understand the importance and significance of these media that we hold how important it is to convey a man a message that is truthful and that is rightful because in our ignorance perhaps we might spread something as our sheikh has mentioned that we might spread a lie so that's why it's our responsibility as we heard from the imam that we need to ensure verify the messages first and we have heard from the director as well from of east london mosque that the positive engagement and it's not only the responsibility of the mosque as individual we live in a society it's our responsibility as well to ensure that we actively engage with our professional colleagues or to our classmates and perhaps our neighbors as well but inshallah we'll find out more about this discussion but now it's time for a documentary amra documentary dekhbo যে রামাদান মাসে ইসলাম মসজিদ আমাদের সাথে ইনশাআল্লাহ আবারও জয়েন করছেন এবং তারা কি আপিল নিয়ে আসছেন মেইন লক্ষ্যটা কি এবং আপনাদের একটি ধারণা দেওয়া যে হাউ ক্যান ইউ অ্যাজ ভিউয়ার্স ইউ হ্যাভ বিন কন্টিনিউয়াসলি সাপোর্টেড এবং সে চমৎকারভাবে বলেছেন প্রথম সেগমেন্টে যে মসজিদটা শুধু বিল করলেই ইনাফ নয় to run that facility to manage that facility that's a bigger challenge than actually building it up so inshallah amra ei documentary de chotto documentary dekhbo je what appeal islam mosque is bringing in and how as viewers you can actively participate and i'll find out more that what is this um, appeal and project all about do stay till with us we'll be right back after this short documentary The East London Mosque and London Muslim Centre has grown from humble beginnings to become one of the largest and busiest Muslim institutions in Western Europe. Over 1.7 million people pass through our doors each year. 
We serve the community for the religious, educational and social needs and engage with the wider society to transform the negative image of Islam and Muslims in London and beyond. This has been by the grace of Allah who has blessed us with your generous support. We need continuous support to provide essential projects and services. Over 1.7 million people uh, pray here, learn here, visit here. Uh, SubhanAllah, this has all been possible uh, from your very generous uh, contribution and support. Alhamdulillah, over the last 15 years, it's expanded tremendous at a tremendous rate. Big institution like the Istanbul Mosque requires a lot of um, cost in, in terms of uh, to ma maintain its operations and to develop further services. Since 2002, we have completed three major projects. The building of both the London Muslim Centre and the Maryam Centre and the purchase of the synagogue building. We currently have a net shortfall of 2.9 million. This has been financed by taking Kard Hassana from our community, which needs to be repaid in due course. We are introducing three new initiatives that you can help the mosque to achieve its long-term sustainability by donating some of your assets to the mosque's work fund during your lifetime. By giving long-term, ideally lifelong Kard Hassana so the mosque can build up the work fund. Or by leaving a gift for the mosque in your Islamic will as final act of charity. When Ibn al-Khattab acquired a piece of land, he asked the Prophet, peace be upon him, how best to use it. The Prophet advised him to establish a waqf and give its profit as charity. You can do this by donating a portion of your property assets or savings to the mosque's waqf fund. This will help the mosque become self-sustainable. The mosque will use the waqf fund for halal investments, for example, in properties. The funds generated can be used to pay off its debt help sustain the projects and services for the community. Institutions like Islam the Mosque needs to have a work fund, an endowment fund for long-term sustainability. And this year our appeal to our community is to help us with the view to help the mosque to sustain in the long term. <laughs> Long term investment. In projects and more importantly, in investment that will generate money and income which we can then use to pay off our debts. The second way you can help is through a new kind of kardasana. You put aside some money for your loved ones when you die. The Island Mosque will return your money to your chosen loved ones after you pass away. It will always remain your money. Like all kardasana, we will return your money to you if you have an unexpected need. <laughs> This money can be returned to either someone nominated by the person or it could be saved to uh, pay for funeral costs. They can ask us to pass it to their family members. Uh, so in that way, we get the funds for a long term, inshallah. Uh, and this will help the masjid to uh, utilize this money to generate income for the masjid. And that is perfectly halal, and we're encouraged to do that um, from the tradition of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa This is a masjid, a masjid shouldn't be in debt. The third way to help is leaving legacy in your Islamic will. Making a will is something we put at the back of our minds. But having an Islamic will is our duty and essential for a Muslim to ensure that your wealth is distributed as prescribed in the Quran. You can donate up to one third of your estate to a charity of your choice. We hope you will choose to give a final act of charity to the Islamic Mosque by including this as sadaqa in your Islamic will. Within Islamic wills and the provision of Sharia, we are allowed to leave up to one third of our will as a, as a bequest to any particular person or work for charity. We're requesting and encouraging people to leave up to one third to the East London Mosque as part of their will.
এরকম কিছু একটা যদি আপনি লিখে যান তাহলে আপনার জন্য আলহামদুলিল্লাহ এই যে ওসিয়ত করার এর মাধ্যমে দান করার সুযোগ আপনি পেলেন আদা রাসি দেওয়ার জন্য নবী করিম সাল্লাহ আসলাম সাহাবারা যখন চেয়েছেন ওসিয়ত করতে কত রকম করা যায় তিনি বলেছেন তিন ভাগের এক ভাগ তোমার সম্পদের ওসিয়ত করতে পারো তিন ভাগের এক ভাগের বেশি নয় Whereas if you give a legacy, the Sadaqa Jariya, which means it's everlasting as long as um, this institution is running, after five, six, seven, eight generations, everybody that's using this service, whether they make dua for you or not, you will be getting um, ajar from Allah SWT for your contribution. ইসলামিক উইল করার যে নিয়ম আছে সে অনুযায়ী আপনি একেবারে পুরো সত্য ত্যাগ করে দিয়ে যাবেন কিন্তু কেহ মারা গেলে পরে পরে আর এটা আনা যায় না কারণ কেহ মারা গেলে পরে তার সকল সম্পদ তার আত্মীয়দের মধ্যে তার ছেলে মেয়েদের মধ্যে এটা বাগাবাগি করে নিয়ে যেতে হয় এটাই হচ্ছে নিয়ম তো উত্তম ব্যবস্থা হচ্ছে যে মারা যাওয়ার আগেই উইল করতে হয় ওয়াকফের মধ্যে দেওয়ার জন্য সে ফর এক্সাম্পল ইফ সামান লিভ এ প্রপার্টি of uh, which is uh, maybe worth a million pound the taxman will take 40% of it uh, when uh, their children inherit it so it's better that if they make a will uh, and then leave a part of this of their wealth or their property for the mosque but when somebody gives a donates to the to a charity uh, it is tax and exempt that means you don't have to pay a tax on this donation So uh, it is an opportunity for all of us, uh, inshallah, those of us who have some wealth to leave something for the masjid. So we hope you all will inshallah cooperate with us and come forward this time again like previous times to help this masjid. May Allah give you tawfiq and I'll accept from all of you. If you would like to support the Islamic Mosque to develop its work fund in any of the ways described, please contact us. Jazakum Allah khair for your support. Help Islam and Mosque to serve educate and inspire our community welcome back thank you very much to all of those who have been watching this documentary a very informative perhaps a little bit more details even a lot of things i need to find out what it is all about we have heard about a very important term perhaps many of you might be accustomed to it many might not have heard it work fund we'll try and discuss what is this and we've also found out the importance of islamic will we'll find out islamically from the sheikh who was present here what is the importance of making or having a will especially living here in this country and how ignorant or how qualified our community is in terms of when it comes to will when it comes to inheritance and we'll find out what east london mosque is doing particularly to help we have heard uh, previously that our guests have commented about engagement about making aware of fundings and so on and so forth now as east london mosque how much are they informing the wider community about the important points that they have raised in the video but inshallah uh do keep watching and you are also watching us through our live facebook page so thank you very much to all of those who have joined with us and inshallah this program will be repeated again tomorrow and later on you'll find it on our youtube channel now janab delwar khan apna kacha mat prashno thakbe wak fund now very pe- many people might say what is this fund all about i know islam mask is a pioneer in uh, bringing a lot of new projects a lot of new themes a lot of new ideas now is this something new to our muslim community wak fund no bangla bolbo na ki please feel free apna hai ashole wak fund eta new na ashole eta one kak theke ei je hadise ase allah rasul sallallahu alaihi advise korechen je ei je kichu mane sampad waf kore jawar jonno public for public services jonno for public benefit mon koron ager amle ei well ke waf kora hoyto je eta waf kore dilam allah roste ekhan theke shobai benefit nibe amra je eta wak fund bolte bujacchi ei fund ta amra masjider যে খরচের জন্য আমরা এটা ইউজ করব না এই ফান্ডটা আলাদা করে রাখব এবং এই ফান্ডটাকে আমরা ইনভেস্টমেন্ট করে এই ইনভেস্টমেন্টের যে রিটার্ন আসবে এই রিটার্ন দিয়ে আমরা আমাদের ঋণ পরিশোধ করব মসজিদের খরচ এগুলো আমরা আদায় করব দিস ফান্ড উইল রিমেন ইনফ্যাক্ট ইনফ্যাক্ট ইট ইজ ভেরি কমন প্র্যাকটিস এই দেশের বড় বড় চ্যারিটি যারা যেগুলো আছে সবারই এই ধরনের বড় বড় বলতে মেইন স্ট্রিম চ্যারিটি মেইন স্ট্রিম চ্যারিটি তাদের এন্ডাউমেন্ট ফান্ড আছে ইভেন আপনাদের এই যে 
মসজিদুল হারাম হারামাইন ওইটার জন্য ওইটার মেনটেনেন্সের জন্য অনেক বড় বড় প্রজেক্ট আছে হোটেলগুলো অনেক হোটেলের ইনকাম ওই হারামাইন শরীফের অধিকাংশ মানুষ জানে না কিন্তু জানে না সাইড তো বাংলাদেশে মনে করেন আমাদের যে বড় মসজিদ যেটা বাইতুল মুকাররম এটারও ওয়াক ফাসে কারণ অনেক দোকান পাট সম্পদ এগুলো আছে মসজিদকে মেনটেন করতে তারে মানে মানে হচ্ছে ডে টু ডে কস্ট এবং মেনটেনেন্সটা ওইখান থেকে আসার জন্য সো দ্য হোল আইডিয়া ইজ নট টু ডিপেন্ড অন ডোনেশনস আচ্ছা আচ্ছা রাইট দ্য আইডিয়া ইজ দ্যাট মসক শুড জেনারেট হিজ ওন ইনকাম through investments and other things and ei fund ta intact thake gelo eta eta dekhe amra ei dekhe ei fund ta amader masjider kharcho jonno lagabo na mani hocche tar amader community sadharon te ekti jinish bole 100% now i'm not in a big fan of this word 100% ta ekhane apni ki bolte jacchen je ei fund theke jeti hobe eta onno kono jagay kono byabostha mani utilize kora hobe na specially nirdharito je khat ache apnara je bhabe utilize korte jacchen o bhabe utilize hobe না এখানে আরেকটা শব্দ আপনি ইউজ করেছেন ইনভেস্টমেন্ট আপনি বলেছেন যে মেইন স্ট্রিম চার্টি অর্গানাইজেশন দে অলসো ইনভলভড ইন ইনভেস্টমেন্ট নাও সাধারণত মানুষে কিন্তু কোশ্চেন থাকে ইনভেস্টমেন্ট উই নো লিভিং ইন দ্য ওয়েস্ট মোস্ট অফ আ ইন্টারেস্ট বেসড এন্ড উই নো এন্ড শেখ ক্যান কনফার্ম দ্যাট এজ ওয়েল উই অল নো দ্যাট রিবা ইজ নট এলাউড ইন ইসলাম নাও আপনি কেমনে হাউ আর ইউ গোইং টু মেক শোর হোয়াট ইজ হালাল ইনভেস্টমেন্ট বিকজ উই হ্যাভ হার্ড অন দ্য ডকুমেন্টারি এজ ওয়েল দ্য ওয়ার্ড হালাল ইনভেস্টমেন্ট ইয়া प्रपार्टी commercial property bara diye dilam je 12 ta aslo ei 12 ta amra use korlam mane interest free property ta kine of course okay thik ache interest free kine felam kine phora phora ei je 12 ashbe 12 diye amra amader in porishod korlam amader mosjid er khoros je gula ache egula amra dekhalam ba kichu amader many ways we started the waqf arrangement a long time ago even from the very beginning when the mosque was established in 1985 from that time onwards we ensured that there were some shop fronts with the masjid when we did the london muslim center we did the business wing so this is all source of income for the masjid so as you said earlier before many people may think we've already donated why do we need to continue to donate correct this is so we we always ensure that uh, part of the development was always there so that there is a source of income for the running cost of the mm. of, of the mosque so this needs to be expanded now expanded okay. yeah. because the uh, cost has go, gone up so so much right. and is it because there are more projects involved that's there why are the more cost projects involved, and yeah. more people oh, yeah. and uh, more 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 mm -hmm. facilities mm -hmm. and uh, that that needs to be supported um, thank you very much for clarifying that i mean arekti jodi jante chabo apni bolechen documentary te islamic will now amra will jani what's islamic will i mean shekhar kas theke janbo etar gurutto ebong what's more important but eta ki apnara eta now for example i just wanted to have a connecting question now i mean i would not know what will is all about i but i've never known do i need it even now e rokom service ki apnara provide karon keu jodi etar moddhe advice nite chai can they come and ask islam or mosque yes we can um, direct them to the right people who have got the expertise in this area we have uh, there is first i think all and other um, organizations they actually can give that yeah, there are many other various organizations yeah, but, the, but the, this is the charity organizations no that's why okay. i'm mentioning their name okay. they're not a commercial organization yeah so the basically the why we say islamic will is um is that in this country if you don't have a will mm. then the law uh, of the land uh, prevails you know it so you know the it will the your wealth will be distributed according to the english law okay right i'll find out from sheikh uh, yeah, what detriment okay. does they have as muslims and if you manage to have an islamic law uh, islamic will you can stipulate that my wealth to be distributed according to the islamic sharia okay okay and there you can um actually um give one third of your w wealth to a charity or any uh, chosen uh, charity or, or chosen charity mm. or anybody you think you know mm. Uh, mm. um so um that, that that's why it is that the scholars now <coughs> they encouraging that all of us we should have an islamic will uh, so that you know we can distribute our wealth according to the sharia okay okay thank you very much for okay. clarifying i'll expand on that I'll, i'll find out from him in the next segment priyo darshak apnara shunchen ei segment e amra documentary dekhechi waqf fund somporke amra shunechi janab delwar khan er kach theke je taka ta raise kora hobe they will not utilize it for any other purpose <coughs> from that has been already decided abe apnara Chaili jante paren as we have heard from the secretary how transparent the mosque is if you have any questions or concern feel free to get in touch and find out more details about it amra break er pore janar chesta korbo ei islamic will somporke amra je shunechi jenechi 
as an individual how important it is from an Islamic perspective to have a will. Now, Allah ki irko madesh ke Quran hadis se diye chen. Amra ita jana chesta karbo. And the other thing is, the investment we've talked about. We'll find a little bit more in details about what these investment can be. How are they going to choose this? If anyone have any concerns or questions regarding or relating to investment or wealth, how will they find out? And is mosque accountable for all of these? Inshallah, we'll try and discuss this in our next segment. Do stay tuned with us. We'll be right back in a few moments. Wassalamu alaikum.